What's up everyone? So I was getting ready to put another set in here because on the other side of this field edge, uh, we've got three sets over there. Well, already it's beside a cornfield. So obviously three non-targets already caught there. The raccoons are just killing us on our sets here. We only got a few sets out, nine. This will make 10 after I put this one in here after work real quick and yeah they're just they're getting plugged up with you know the non-targets well they're just getting plugged up with raccoons but I wanted to show how I do this set I think it's an interesting set uh we're using round jaw traps such as this sterling here see I got a post hole digger here now <clears throat> I'm not caring about a backing right here. I know you probably can't see the upper part of me, but I'm not caring about having a backing anywhere here. This is all just, you know, a nice little grassy patch here. And we're at a nice big intersecting point here. My wind direction comes this way and blows into this intersection. So hopefully anything coming through this intersection. There's not a lot of sign up around here as far as, uh, ton of scat and that earlier when we were up here uh we did find one pile of scat but this is right up at camp literally i can see the camp from here but anyways this is going to go ahead and pull out my trap bed and my backing all in one and it's going to make a deep void to bed the trap inside of which I'm just going to fill with peat moss and then I'll just top it off with some grass that I cut up here locally. So like I said, we ain't got to worry about trying to find a perfect backing and plug this beside it or nothing. Just wherever we want to pick right here. We're just going to go ahead and get a nice wad out of the ground. Give it a pinch, and then once we flip this over, that now becomes our plug that we're gonna use. So the trap bed's pretty much almost already done. And I'm using wind direction to help with this set to avoid walking behind it and that. Uh, they're gonna walk into it because the wind's gonna bring it to their face. So I'm gonna beat the bed down in some. I'm gonna beat a spot for my levers here. And that post hole digger for round jaw traps such as the Sterling or I use a lot of 650s also. Uh, it's just a hair smaller than the trap jaw spread. So I just tap that sides out a little bit to accommodate for the trap. anchor drive in here this is really soft mucky ground here so using a wolf bang Set that, beat my hole shut. And 
little layer of peat moss down in there. Pretty much just make this set with a hammer. You don't even need a, you don't need the digger. Just need the hammer part to modify the bed a little bit. And that's it. And I take it and I pinch it. And that trap is now rock solid. There. I'll go ahead and just bring you a little closer and just show you that bed real quick. So all along I took the bed that trap. Solid. I don't need no dirt, no nothing to help bed that trap in there. get you down in there there now I'm just gonna fill this all up with peat moss work it in there I like to work my peat moss in under the jaws and under the pan not going to enable that trap from firing whatsoever it's super dry but instead of using dirt that's going to turn into mud which hasn't rained here in a few days so this is already real muddy I'm just using my peat moss to fill voids that's all I'm not caring if I can see that trap pan or any of that trap actually I don't care if I can see that because I'm just gonna take the grass local around here and just chop it up I kind of like fold my grass and then fold it again and then cut it up and then it comes out in big wads like that but i'll show you how i spread it out then and this really blends the set in i don't want it real thick so i spread out them chunks and it's like 73 degrees right now so i'm already working up sweat now right there is the pan is right there so i have this just offset just a hair it's not really going to matter they're going to be working their feet around this with what we're going to do i'm going to scoot it back just a little bit i'm going to take my driver i'm going to punch me in a little hole <clears throat> Now it's time to go ahead and get the stink on her. So what I'm gonna put down in that hole, I'm gonna put a little bit of body count, Todd Strohacker's lure there. I'm gonna put a little bit of that down the hole. I'm gonna take my wad, kind of cover that hole just a little bit, like half moon it. And then it's nice and flat up on there. So as another attractor, I got some scat here. I'm just gonna take it and put it right on top. 
and that's gonna stand out like a sore thumb whenever I'm all done here. Take a little bit of urine right on that scat. It's gonna soak into that scat nice. And there you go. So, <clears throat> give that a little bit of a fluff up. I'll move my stuff out of the way here and then I'll show you. Oh yeah, you can see that's that. See, it's nice and well blended in there. There's barely anything covering that. I could still see some of my trap through that layer of peat moss that I put in there. That was just to fill voids where needed be. And then I cut up some of the local grass. And that dirt wad is like your backing, kind of like covering the hole a little bit that I put under it, that I put the lure down in, and I put that scat on top of it. So that also that fresh dirt wad be in there too. The scent of it itself is also attractive. So there's the set. Stand back and looking at it. So from here, you know, even stepping back 15 feet or so like that, something coming through this intersection and getting a whiff, looks over that direction. That scat, that uh, dirt clawed, has got that scat elevated up in the eye view now, not just laying on the ground like that. But like I said, that wind direction's coming over top of it like that, so it's gonna blow it right into this intersection. And here's the intersection. Got logging roads coming into the field. Got a bare lane beside the corn, beside the woods coming this way. And then obviously a lane going that way. So that's that set. Uh, I never showed doing that set before, but that set works really, really well for me. And uh, using the post hole digger with a round jaw trap with that set just works out perfect. Got my bed, I got my backing, everything right there. So hopefully come back in the next couple of days and got it catching. Hopefully, even though that corn's pretty much almost a guaranteed Hoping it's not another raccoon. We're already three raccoons on this property. <laughs> but got to get rid of them too. There's clearly way too many of them. Have a good one, everyone.